Hey everyone, welcome to the Bless It Forward Ministries YouTube channel. Um, it has been such a long time since I've made a video, um, so I'm really excited to be here making one. Um, for anybody who obviously already knows me and follows me in the Bless It Forward Bible for Journaling community or on our Facebook page, um, you will know that my full-time job is I'm a childminder. Um, and I care for other children in my own home. And obviously it's been the um, summer holiday period here. Um, so for the last like eight weeks or so, I have been so, so busy working 12 hour days, looking after the children I look after, entertaining them all and stuff like that. So I haven't been able to get as creative as I like with my journaling. So I've been super excited the last couple of days. I have had um, lots of fun creating some of um, new templates um, for creating my paper cut designs that I absolutely enjoy doing as my um, study time, worship time and stuff with God um, as I enjoy just soaking in his word and music to praise and him and stuff so i am going to be adding in this design i have done here into my interleaved bible um before i start can you believe it or not this is the third time i am making this video because obviously i use my iphone to make my videos and the two other times i started making the videos i got phone calls and they just cut my videos off obviously so the phone calls could come through so i was i got to the point of um like really getting quite far where i started doing the background and i was like oh i got a phone call and it cut the video off so i am making it again and hopefully no phone calls please lord <laughs> um so yes let me get on with what i'm going to do right so let me just lift this up here um so you can hopefully see so just um to say obviously this is a paper cut design that I have hand cut out obviously I um, just a quick background I designed these um, on the computer um, and then obviously I print them off and I hand cut them out so obviously here's a different one that I did share a picture of the other day that I enjoyed doing um, and then I cut it out with a blade craft blade like this um, obviously I have got some YouTube videos, please do go and find them, have a look at them, um, you know I have a learn how to um, download, you can buy my Etsy shop, um, if this is something you already enjoy doing, please do know you can go and buy all my templates also on my Etsy shop, or you know you might find some other templates by other people, have a Google, have a look around, um, and you might be able to find some of the templates you can enjoy. Um, so yes, let me get this into um, my bible so i'm just going to pop that there what i was going to do quickly though um is i was just going to quickly show you some of my other entries i have done um because if again if you know me well you will know that um creating these paper cut designs are um how blessed forward ministries um started back in january 2013 and as i say it's my absolute favorite way of coming and being creative with um, God's word. So these are just a few that I have done in the past and obviously shared with you and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to add in the one I have got just been showing you um, in onto a background like so. So um, and obviously the interleaved Bible um, you will no, just in case you don't know, every other page is a blank page. So it's absolutely great for, you know, creating large um, creative designs as part of your journaling. Um, it's also brilliant for adding in napkins and stuff like that. And especially if, you know, like some people maybe don't like covering the words up um, as part of their journaling. This Bible is absolutely brilliant for that. So let's get on with what I'm going to do. Um, I have some absolutely lovely worship music playing in the background um and it is a new album called we rise by cageless birds i absolutely love this worship music i just can't stop playing it at the moment and playing it over and over again soaking in it so if you hear it in the background um because i might go quiet a little bit um that is what is playing right so let's create the background um, I did start it, um, so that's why I've got these pages in here, um, and I will turn to the page I started in a minute. As I say, I got a phone call halfway through making the video, and um, it cut the video off, and I've got to start again. <laughs> um, so for the background, I am going to be using my 
one of my favourite tools um, to get creative with, which is these soft pastel chalks. Um, you can buy these cheaply in your craft stores, or I got these on Amazon. Um, so they are just soft pastel chalks. Um, I am somebody, as you will know, um, who will Google around and find things the cheapest I can find them because I don't have a lot of spare pennies. So I like to find things for as cheap as I can. So always have a look in your craft stores, Google um, and stuff like that. Look on Amazon and see what you can find. Um, so I think I got this set for about, I think it was about $8.99 um, and they were off Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background. Now I did start it and so I will lift it up and show you. I started the background here. Um, and obviously what I will just quickly show you is on this piece of paper um, how I started it. Um, just so you know that it's, I don't do anything technical or anything like that. I just literally will grab my chalks and rub them all over the page like so, you know, um, and cover the page up to make a thingy. Then I just get a bit of um, tissue and I will um, like obviously blend it in. So that's where I got to when I got my phone call um, and it cut the video off and started to. So I enjoyed rubbing a load of um, orange onto the background and rubbing it all over so and I'm going to now just carry on from where I got cut off last night so rub it all all in and I want to create like an autumny themed background so I'm going with some different oranges and things like that so as you can see I don't do anything like special I will just keep rubbing in the chalks and adding different colours until I feel quite happy. Now what I do is when I am doing adding in one of my paper cut designs I will just um, obviously keep checking how the white is showing up on the coloured background. Because it is cut out of white you do need the background to um, pop a little bit so obviously the white card um, does show up nicely. So, so I'm just going to keep doing this and then I think I might add a bit of um like this lovely reddish colour because don't you absolutely love how the leaves in autumn turn that gorgeous like reddy burgundy colour that is my absolute favourite colour I just think we have such an amazing god that he creates such wonderful um stuff like you know wow isn't his oh I I just love autumn. I just love autumn and that we have such an amazing God that will, you know, delight us with his um, creation like that. Um, I think I'm going to add in some bits of green. So what I do is I'm just going to do some little bits of green. And this is quite a dark green. Um, I mean, I never ha know how my backgrounds are going to turn out. I just always hope for the best. And if they turn out good great if they don't it's just it's all part of being creative you know you just you know enjoy the process and stuff like that so i'm just going to pop a bit more of that in there so i am happy with that background i really really like that i hope you can see as well as me um the background um what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to wipe my fingers on a wipe because I don't want to get the chalk onto my design, my paper cut design. So I'm just going to check it against the background and how it looks. And I'm really happy with that. I quite very happy that that um, pops enough for it to um, show off my nice design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal the chalk. So obviously that it doesn't rub against the other pages or anything like that. And I use a fixative spray or you can use hairspray um, again have a google see what you can find I mean I just googled obviously I'm from the UK um, and I googled fixative spray um, and this is what I found I found it on some random website and it cost me this size tin I think it was 2 dollars with free postage so and just I'm lightly spray my page let it settle a bit and give it a wave and then I'll give it another little spray. And that's normally enough to just seal the chalks. 
and then I just I do just give it a quick rub over because that's just what I like to do there's no rule to say you have to do that <laughs> um, right what I'm just going to do is bear with me a minute people I'm just going to move my chalks out of the way so I don't accidentally knock them over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm trying something new for me um, and I don't know how it's going to work. So I'm hoping it's going to go well. Um, I have got here a absolutely gorgeous, I'm going to get the full one actually to show you, a gorgeous autumn themed napkin. Um, I'm going to try and use um, to create like a little leaf border before I add on my temp, you know, my paper cut design. Um, so what I have done is I have taken the napkin and I have cut up the leaves. So I just took a pair of scissors and obviously cut out the leaves I wanted um, to pop onto this design. So I'm, um, and then I'm going to obviously use the napkin technique where you'll take some gesso um, and put put it onto the page now i did do like a little trial one here because i weren't sure how the gesso might react with the chalk once the chalk's down because i've never gessoed over chalk before so i did a little a practice one and it, it turned out all right i can see a little bit where the gesso was um but it turned out all right that i'm happy to go ahead with this idea that i have so um this way i might go a bit quiet as i concentrate Obviously, um, you need to make sure um, the plies off the back of the napkins. So you will see here, I will get the plies off. I should have actually thought to have done this be before the um, video, shouldn't I? Because taking the plies off. Um, can be a bit tricky as you can see Ooh, no I don't think that one's going to come unless it's already off some of them already come off as you can see yeah some of them already come off let's just see what we can do quickly but um, it gives us an opportunity to spend a bit more time together Oh, give us an opportunity to listen to this wonderful worship song together. Oop. See, very tricky. But I left, um, I wanted to cut it bef um, with the plies on because it just obviously gave a bit more strength to cutting um, with the napkin, having the plies on the back. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one off. Some of them I might have to leave these. Oh, here we go. Look, leave the plies, second ply on, because some come with two plies and some comes, some come with three. Um, so, and sometimes nails definitely help in when you're trying to get plies off. I find as well. There we go. I think that one's off. Do we sing glorious? Yes, Lord. Glorious. Oh, bear with me. Sorry, peoples. My videos always seem to run on. Um, I feel sorry. I always try and like think, oh, I'll try and prep this and I'll try and prep that and I'll try and be organised. And I never am. There's always something that comes up in my videos that make them extra long for you to um, check out. And I do apologise for that. But hopefully, you know, these tips, you will get tips like, Ooh, you'll see how I'm doing stuff and it gives you good tips for doing your own stuff. Right, I think we're about there. See, some come off dead easy, and like then others, they just like they don't want to play ball. <laughs> like they're being cheeky. They're like, we're just going to let you struggle in your video <laughs> and let everybody think, oh. Right, so I got that one. 
done that one. And I did, did I do that one? Yes, I did that one and I did that one. Right, let's go. We're good to go. Right, so what I'm going to do is, obviously, when, normally when you do the napkin technique, you um, end up, like, putting gesso all over the page. Um, I don't want to do that. I just want to have gesso in a certain area. So I'm just going to rub it in with my finger rather than a brush. And I'm going to do it quickly. And then obviously you just place your nap I'm just going to place my napkin where I want it. And then I'm going to go over it with some gesso in a minute. Oh, I want, yes, sorry, I'm getting confused at what I'm doing. So as you can see, it is kind of acting okay over the, so I am going over the pages a little bit. Um, and I'm going to just rub the gesso on top of the napkin now. And I just keep dipping my finger in so I've got a bit of gesso. So as you can see, I've just put a bit of A4 paper um, under the page to protect the page a little bit. So it doesn't go onto the pages below. And then obviously I've got some gesso there already and I'm just going to add these leaves there. So I'm just making, some of the leaves are hanging over the page and obviously once the page is dry, I will trim along the lines to cut them off. So I'm making this lovely little, don't you just absolutely, I mean, look at these colours, they are so gorgeous. And to think, you know, we, we get to see these beautiful colours in, in God's wonderful world. We get, oh, I love autumn. I just love autumn colours. There we go. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. So I'm happy with that. That's in. And obviously, when you do do napkin entries, they do go a bit wrinkly. So don't worry if they go a bit wrinkly. That adds character to your page, I say. Um. So now I'm just going to do the same down here. And I'm just going to pop some gesso down on the page at the bottom because I want to make a border at the top and a border at the bottom, like so. There we go. And I'm just going to get my napkin. Obviously, before I did the video, I did place them out a little bit. If you're just thinking, oh, I seem to know what I'm doing. I did place them out a little bit to see where I might want to place them just to save some time. So. But hopefully this might encourage you to try using napkins in a different way. You don't have to just like use a whole napkin. You can enjoy, you know, cutting it out and finding um, different ways to use the napkins. No, I don't think I need any more gesso there. It's in between. Oh, you will go. Jesus. I absolutely love this worship album. It's like, you know, like when you go through seasons and, and things like that, you have your favourite worship songs that you like. And uh, this is one for me for this season. Oh, I love it. There we go. There we are. So, that is my napkin bits added in. So what you do is obviously um, I then take my hair dryer and dry it. So it's going to get a bit noisy um, while I take my hair dryer and um, blow dry it. So please bear with me. Okay, I'm just going to a bit of gesso there because I can just see obviously as I'm drying that bit's blowing up and just a tip there for you I forgot to remove all the little bits of tissue that are obviously came off the <laughs> napkins and they've just blown everywhere um I've just picked those ones up and I'll hide them
yet okay so obviously i do need to finish drying it off a bit more but obviously because i'm going to be sticking my paper cut design in i'm just going to um, leave it for now so what i'm just going to do is move my bits out of the way i'm just going to move this out of the way for now because i'm going to bring the paper cut design in um, and i'm going to pop some glue onto the back of it um, so i can stick it into my bible Right, so obviously to stick a paper cut design in, I use a glue pen. Um, I use two different sorts. Um, this is the only one I've got at the moment. My other one's run out. Um, this one is a cheap one I picked up for a pound from a craft shop called The Range here in the UK. Um, but I do also order a Bostick pen from Amazon because um, I can't often find them in the range. And obviously for a paper cut design, I just go around and I dab glue all over the paper cut design um, it doesn't have to go all over the paper cut design uh, because the whole purpose of a paper cut design is that some of it um, isn't stuck down it gives it a bit of a like a 3d effect sort of thing so you know you get some shadow shadowing on the page sometimes um, so I just I will go round and put it in all the larger areas where I feel I need it and these pens are really you know glue pens are really good to stick them down because you know yes lord knows yes he does amen so that is enough glue and um, so I'm going to carefully just pick it up and hold it up and I'm going to bring back my Bible, and I'm going to obviously stick it in the middle about here. So it's in like under just underneath the leaves there and coming down here. I'm going to then gently pat it down. I like to pop something underneath my other side of the Bible to keep it up. Um, so oops. there we go and that is my paper cut design in the thingy oh dear look I've got some green on there I think it must have come off um, one of the napkins or something or a bit of chalk I've got a bit of green but it doesn't matter <laughs> I must have had some green on me or something but it's come off somewhere transferred I'm wondering if it's come off the napkin that's okay right so obviously once I've stuck a paper cut design down if I know it's somewhere where there is a letter that might need sticking down because I don't want it to rip if I open up my bible and enjoy looking at it you know because obviously I like to look back at my journaling um that I create because obviously I create journaling as you know part of my study and time of being with God and you know I get little thought you know thoughts from God that I you know he's teaching me and showing me for the time and season I am in so I um I'm happy with that that's looking really really good so what I'm going to do is hopefully you don't mind if I might just finish drying it off it the wrong way <laughs> so what i'm going to do now is i will remove the um bit of paper let me make sure this is in my phone screen for you so obviously i'm in my phone screen so it's very small and as you saw i went over the edge a little bit and i might not be able to do it because i don't think the napkin's still fully dry or make sure i haven't got more than one page there we go i will just trim around the edges like so um what i might do is actually i will turn it that way and I will bring my page this way. Um, let me show you. I have to move it up. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly did it without it being in the camera then. In, in the phone screen. So obviously I will turn it over to the opposite page. And just slightly cut off the napkin that is hanging, hanging over like that. 
then I will use turn it around am I still in the screen for you sorry if I'm missing the screen I do apologize and then this one might be the more trickier one to do because it's the other way so I will turn it back that way because I can see and that's in my bible and i am happy to say that is finished um i really love it so it says give thanks to the lord um and i have actually placed um i forgot to mention at the beginning didn't i, I have placed it by um 1 chronicles 16 34 oh give thanks to the lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever amen um so i've enjoyed you know obviously creating this as part of my autumn theme journaling of you know when it's a time of giving thanks to god for his wonderful harvest and and things like that but obviously you know we you know i'm grateful all year round not just at autumn time but it's just really nice that we can have these verses we can come to at you know this time of the year and just enjoy soaking on and reading and you know and actually just spending some time giving praise and thanks to god for just how wonderful he is and you know just, just so magnificent and wonderful um so anyway that is the end of this video. Sorry, it went on a bit longer than I hoped. Um, my next lesson is to obviously make sure I always take the back of napkins off before I do a video that it won't take as long. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's inspired you, encouraged you. Please do check out all the links below where you can come and find us on Facebook. You can find my website and all my free designs I have available for journaling with and stuff like that. Um, you know, and come and join us in our um, Facebook group, community group, where you can come and connect and share with us um, a group of amazing people from around the world um, as we just love sharing about our passion for Jesus and and stuff like that so yeah god bless you all and I will hopefully make another video soon it won't be so long bye